Hello, my name is Chris Mouflab, I'm Project Engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner Video Training Series Level 5. In this vignette, we're going to show you how splitting tasks can help optimize the schedule. The aim of this vignette is to discuss why we would split tasks and how we do that to optimize the schedule in Vico Schedule Planner. We split schedule tasks for a number of reasons. We can split them for, because we need to assess and define different resources for a different location. Alternatively, we understand that multiple locations must work concurrently as different crews. We can also split tasks to plan a break between some locations, or we need to define logic relationships differently. We can also define schedule tasks by splitting them if we must make one part continuous and the other ASAP. Let's get started and isolate the PCs and pile caps view. In the optimization process, we try not to split tasks straight away. This is because if you create a finish to start link between tasks, it automatically replicates the logic in a location based scheduling system. But if you split tasks and then create logic, you'll have to recreate logic between all the parts. This becomes unmanageable and may become risky during implementation. However, splitting tasks is an important part of schedule optimization, so let's get started. Let's head to our Flowline task tools and head to the scissor tool. The scissor tool is much like it is in real life and it will be able to cut tasks into task parts. Let's select the tool. As you can see, little blue nodes have appeared on the task line at the junctures at each of the locations within the hierarchy. We can now hover our mouse over a blue node to cut the task line. The Select Locations dialog has been opened. In this instance, we're given an opportunity to select specific locations that we will split into tasks parts. In this instance, we already know that we don't want to split anything more than these, this task directly in half. Let's click OK. As you can see, we have now created two new task parts for the layout piles task. These tasks will operate independently, and this gives us the option of introducing additional logic, increasing the resources in the optimal crew size, or making one task continuous in the other ASAP. Let's split the drill sync cage and cast piles differently. Start by double clicking to enter the task properties. In the top of the task properties, we can select the split tool. Similar to as we saw before, Let's select the two task parts that we wish to split. We can now throttle between the task parts within the task part dialog. In the event that we needed to recombine these tasks, we could do this by using the combine function and selecting both tasks and using the OK key to combine our one split task part. Let's click OK and see what happens to the schedule. As you can see, we're suggesting that we're now going to have two surveyors to lay out the piles and two drilling rigs to complete this phase of work. Overall, we have gained additional time, but by only adding extra resources. In this vignette, we've learned that we only split activities in the final stages of schedule optimization, and we have shown you how to split a task with the scissor tool, or how to edit that task within the edit task dialog.